Hey, this is Mark with Goo's Reviews, where we help you decide on your ride before you buy. And in this video, I'll be comparing my Clue Freedom 1.0 step-in bindings to my 2020-2021 Burton step-on bindings. My goal is to show you the close-ups and moving parts of each setup to help you decide which one fits your unique riding style and what you're looking for. I'll be going over the differences in boot to binding compatibility, how to use the bindings, their attachment points, their responsiveness, and the features of each setup. I'll be using my Solomon Huck knife when making the comparisons to make all other things equal. First, let's talk about boot to binding compatibility. Burton step-on bindings are only compatible with step-on boots. Step-on boots are currently available from Burton and DC, while the Clue bindings are compatible with any snowboard boot from any brand. In this video, I'll be using the DC The Laced snowboard boots when using the Clue bindings, and I'll be using the Burton Photon step-on boots for the Burton step-on bindings. As a side note, I wear a US size 8 wide in my street shoes, I wear a US size 9 for the DC boots, and a size 9 wide for the Burton boots. Now let's talk about getting in and out of the bindings. To initially get into the clue bindings, you strap into them in the familiar way of regular strap bindings. Once you strap in that first time, you can pull on the red handle behind the high back to easily step out. Getting in is now as simple as stepping in. Here it is from another angle. The clue bindings are made of an upper and lower assembly, with the lower assembly staying on your board and the upper assembly staying on your boot as you walk. For the Burton step-ons, you slide your heel cleat in, then lock the toe cleats. Here it is from a different view. To get out, you lift the release lever, lift the heel, and twist the front of your boot to get out. Now pay attention to the body mechanics when using each system. For Clue, getting in is a two-part movement of toe, then heel, using a scooping, then downward movement. For the Burton step-ons, you straighten your leg to allow your heel to click in, toe-toe, heel, then toe-toe. To get out with the Clue bindings, you lift your heel, then your toe. To get out with the Burton bindings, you lift your heel, then twist. Let's take a closer look at the attachment points. The Burton step-on boots have toe cleats outside of your big toe and pinky toes, and the heel cleats are on the back of the boots. The bindings have toe clips on the sides of the foot pads and heel clips built into the high backs. Something you should note is the cuff clip on the back of each boot above the heel cleats. When using the Burton step-on system, you're required to tuck your snow pants into the cuff clip to make sure your snow pants don't get stuck between the heel cleat and locking clip. There's a warning placed on each new set of Burton step-on boots, and it's also imprinted on the high backs, showing that your pants can get stuck in the locking mechanism if they aren't tucked into the cuff clips. The clue bindings use a toe strap, which, as you saw, you slide your boot underneath. There are heel hooks on both sides of your heel on each upper assembly, and heel latches on the sides of the lower assemblies. The Burton step-on heel cleat has two locking levels to account for underfoot snowpack. The Clue system also has two locking points to account for snowpack. As a side note on security, with Clue, after you pull the release handle, a full release only happens if you keep the handle engaged while pulling your boot up in one smooth and intentional movement. If the red handle is released as you lift your boot, the heel hook will catch on the first locking point of the heel latch, acting as a safeguard. With the Burton step-ons, when you lift the release lever, it fully releases your heel cleat. Take note that even if you only lift your boot lightly, once the release lever is lifted, the entire two-part locking heel cleat is released. Both Burton and Clue include a boot leash as an extra layer of security. Here's how you put it on. Let's talk about the differences in responsiveness. Clue uses adjustable toe and ankle straps so you can decide how tight or loose you want your bindings to be. The Burton step-ons do not have any flex options due to the attachment points being static and not having any straps. Here's some close-ups of the bindings so you can see how each setup responds. This is the responsiveness when the clue binding straps are almost fully tightened, 
And here's when the binding straps are fully tightened. So what are my final thoughts? With the clue bindings, you're able to choose any snowboard boot for your setup. The clue bindings are good for someone looking for the feel and flex of a traditional binding and having the options of strap tightness. The Burton step-on bindings are only compatible with boots designed with step-on toe and heel cleats. The Burton step-ons are good for someone looking for the feel of a stiffer, immediately responsive setup, and want bindings that work without straps. If my video helped you, hit the like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and let me know which setup you chose and why. Subscribe to see more board sport gear reviews, and as always, thank you for watching.